New IITs are on the rise, but are they really worth it? Like IIT Jammu, with its quickly developing modern infrastructure and industry collaboration. So how does it stack up against the established IITs is the big question. Hello everyone, I am Neha Gulati and you are watching College Review Series by Akash. So in today's video, we are going to review IIT Jammu and find out all about its placement statistics, how high goes the cutoff, the campus life and trust me, a lot more. So stick around as we uncover the real story of IIT Jammu with all pure facts and no exaggeration. IIT Jammu is recognized as an institute of national importance which was established in the year 2016 under the Institutes of Technology Act 1960. The IIT campus operates from a well-planned permanent campus spread across 400 acres in Jagti which is a forest area at NH44 around 15 kilometers from Jammu city. The campus is surrounded by scenic hills providing students a peaceful academic environment while being connected to the city. The campus provides all the basic facilities to its staff and the teachers which include facilities such as academic blocks which are equipped with modern classrooms, well-stocked libraries and advanced laboratories. The IIT also provides while fulfilling students sports and fitness requirements by providing facilities for football, basketball, badminton and gymnasium to promote student well-being. There are dedicated centers for research, industry collaborations and incubation for startups. Now let's talk about the academic programs offered here at IIT Jammu for you. The IIT offers undergraduate programs with 280 seats for the BTEC students with programs such as Chemical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Materials Engineering, Mechanical Engineering and Mathematical and Computing Engineering. Also, the IIT provides minor programs in Mathematics, Nuclear Engineering, Engineering and Scientific Computation, Computer Science and Engineering and an Honours program in Computer Science and Engineering are offered. The dual major program is not offered here. So here is a note that IIT Jammu undergraduate programs include 20 seats for IIT Jammu IIM Jammu dual degree program which includes four years BTEC of IIT Jammu and two years MBA of IIM Jammu. Now how to get admission in one of these courses at IIT Jammu? So we need to know the eligibility criteria and the admission process. So the students seeking admission in one of the BTEC courses here need to pass class 12 board examination with physics, chemistry and mathematics as their core subjects. For general category of the students, 75% is the required aggregate. For the categories such as ST, SC or PWT candidates, they require an aggregate of 65% minimum. Further, the students students must clear J advanced to be eligible for the admission process and to be eligible for that you first need to get J main paper 1. Foreign students need not to appear for J main they can directly register themselves for J advanced. Thereafter you sit for JOSA counseling based on the marks secured in your J advance. Then you get all your documents verified and pay the required fees. Foreign nationals, they get accepted through DASA, direct admission of students abroad and ICCR schemes. So we know the percentage requirement in your class 12th boards. But what about J advance rank? So in order to know that, let's find out J Advance Cutoff for the year 2024. Here is the branch wise J Advance Rank Cutoff 2024 after 5th round of JOSA counselling. You can use this data as reference for your choice filling during the counselling process. For Chemical Engineering, first of all, the Rank Cutoff for Gender Neutral started at 12,943 and closed at 15,048. For the Female Only category, the Rank started at 18,930 and closed at 20 21,759. For civil engineering branch, for gender neutral candidates, the opening rank stood at 11,454 and the closing rank was 15,583. For the female only category, the same started at 23,902 and closed at 25,172. 
for computer science and engineering the opening rank was 3412 only and the closing was 6310 for gender neutral and for female only category the same started at 8353 and closed at 12108 for electrical engineering now the rank for general neutral category closed at 10000 and for the female only category the same closed at 18177 for more information on iit jammu cutoff 2024 do visit the link given in the description now let's have a look at the fee structure which is specifically for the btech students so as you can see the tuition fee per semester is 1 lakh for students with family income above 5 lakh and 33333 for candidates with parental income between 1 lakh to 5 lakh whereas it is nil for students with parental income below 1 lakh and also for sc st or ph candidates so the total fee including annual fee hostel charges admission charges and security fee is going to be between 12 to 13 lakh for general category of students with this the iit also provides certain scholarship schemes to its meritorious and economically weaker section students the primary scholarships are institute merit cum mean scholarship for general obc ncl and ews category of the students with parental income less than 4.5 lakh and with this you get a refund of tuition fee and monthly stipend of 1000 rupees during active semesters note down students up to 25% of students in each branch and year can receive this scholarship the second scholarship is institute free messing scholarship for SC, ST and PWD category of the students with family income less than 4.5 lakh. With this you get waivers of mess advance payment. Along with this you get monthly pocket allowance of 250 rupees during active semesters. And the third scholarship is institute free ship for general OBC, NCL and EWS category students who are not covered under other scholarships with parental income between 1 lakh to 4.5 lakh. With this, you get remission of tuition fee and note down candidates that up to 10% of the remaining eligible students in each branch and year can receive this scholarship. Additionally, the IIT also facilitates the access to external scholarships and financial aid programs such as National Scholarship Portal and several state-sponsored scholarships. For more details on IIT Jammu scholarships, including the application procedure and the deadlines, students must visit the official website. Talking about the place placement statistics now. So upon reviewing the placement statistics of IIT Jammu for the year 2023 from multiple reputable sources, we have found that the statistics for the year 2023 were quite reliable and consistent. As the highest salary package drawn was 53 lakh per annum with an average package of 17 lakh per annum. So the institute achieved an 85% placement rate. A total of 129 companies participated, extending 224 offers to a batch of 252 students. Prominent recruiters included Amazon, Accenture, HCL, Tech Mahindra and HDFC along with others. So despite the fact that the placement year 2023 had seen decent placements, the placement rate dropped with 16% in 2024. Moving on to the students life here now. So the IIT conducts quite a few festivals around the year along with managing students club to promote creative and performing arts along with academic and science related activities. Further, the IIT also conducts events such as Renown, which is a cultural fest that attracts thousands of students from across India. It features music, comedy and performances. The second is Anhat, a techno-cultural fest that celebrates the limitless spirit. It features music, dance, art and culinary delights. Further, Udya Mits, an entrepreneurial festival that features speakers, panel discussions and networking opportunities. So to conclude, IIT Jammu has emerged as a promising institution as compared to the other newly established IITs such as IIT Goa, Billai and Dharwad. So compared to these IITs, IIT Jammu has its own fully operational permanent campus with growing industry collaborations and impressive students facilities. Whereas if we compare in terms of placement rate, then IIT Goa excels 
with IIT Jammu on the second place, leaving IIT Bilai and IIT Dharwad behind, who are still struggling with developing their infrastructure and building strong industry collaborations. Ultimately, the decision to choose the right IIT for yourself depends on your individual priorities. And with this, I leave the decision on you as this was all from me today. And yes, with this, do write it to me in the comment section which other college do you want me to review next. And don't forget to press the like and subscribe button so that you do not miss out on any updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.